and you have sex as a group. I mean, is that something you enjoy? Yeah. Top 4 Extreme Love Love comes in all shapes and forms. However, the stories we have for you today remain special like no other. Let's watch. Number 4. Wesley and Vince A couple married with a 30-year age gap have revealed one of the secrets to a happy relationship is amazing intercourse. Wesley, 24, and Vince, 54, were attracted to each other from the get-go after meeting online and realizing they have a lot in common, including a shared love of Disney. They have now been together eight years, also welcoming a baby girl and credit action in the bedroom as being one of the key components to the success of a marriage. Wesley has always been interested in older men and was looking for a protective, older male figure to fill the emotional void left when her father passed away when she was a child. And when she met Vince, she fell straight in love with him because he is a different type of man. But Vince has never dated significantly younger women and admitted that this is his first age gap relationship. He said, I was attracted to her blonde hair. She had a beautiful smile. And then, of course, she used the word Disney in her profile. And I thought, well, she has to be a Disney fan. Otherwise, everything is off because I'm kind of a Disney aficionado. I never was attracted to guys my age, like my age within like one to And we do have a 30 year age gap. She used the word Disney in her profile and I thought, well, she has to be a Disney fan. I actually felt that a younger girl would be able to provide those for me. Wesley's mother Paige, who was only a year younger than her son-in-law, said that it took her a while to get used to her daughter's husband, even though she knew that Wesley has always been interested in older men. Paige said, Wesley has never done anything by the book. As a mom, you want your kids to comply, but you want them to do their own thing and find their own place. The couple from Little Rock, Arkansas admit that their romance has raised some eyebrows. He's uh, certainly got a different sense of humor. I was like, okay, it's her thing. You know, the whole Disney thing, whatever works for them, you know. Doctors told the couple they may have trouble having children. So when Wesley fell pregnant, it was a very pleasant surprise for both parents, and Wesley says that motherhood has changed her. Vince is divorced and has a 26-year-old son, Jeff, who, according to the couple, gets along very well with his new younger stepmother. Number 3. Wade and Mitchell The Extreme Love series releases another strange but interesting video. A married couple from rural Tennessee has redefined what it means to have a good time. Meet Wade and Michelle. Michelle enjoys dressing up as a little girl and pretending to be a young girl. Daddy Dom Little Girl DDLG is a fetish that entails Wade acting as Michelle's daddy. DDLG stands for is Daddy Dom, little girl. He's my daddy and my protector, and I need him. Oh. I love you too. Front, this is who we are. This is what makes us happy. He rewards or punishes her based on how she behaves. Maryville is a city in the county capital of Blount County in the state of Tennessee. Wade, 35, and his wife, Michelle, 27, live there. They keep themselves occupied with the mundane tasks of everyday life, just like any other married couple. Wade works as a professional handyman, but in their spare time, they enjoy playing board games and listening to Disney movies, with Michelle adding that she enjoys art and crafts and coloring, as well as being a full-time little daughter. The DDLG fetish, which is all about kinky age play, is something Michelle prefers to spend her days dressing up and acting as a toddler, which she does most of the time. These mature adults engage in unending age play for the rest of their lives, this is something to be taken seriously. This isn't a game. This isn't something that we're just putting on a front. This is who we are. This is what makes us happy, Wade explained. The majority of the time is spent having fun and playing games, but when Michelle did something bad, Daddy Dom will impose some consequences. Punishment, even though it hurts, helps the little girl to make the right decisions so that she doesn't fall into the same trap again. This isn't the only thing the couple has. The couple also has a behavior sheet on which Michelle will mark three times a day with a check mark and a distinct color coding system. During the morning, afternoon, and evening, there is a green check mark when she behaves well, a red check mark when she behaves badly, and lastly, a yellow check mark for warnings. Michelle also clarified the punishment, saying, It is based on how many you have. Daddy Dom sets out a punishment, or he lets you pick out as a reward. Daddy sets out a punishment or he lets you pick out a reward. Green for good behavior, yellow for warning. Let's go in there, let's get this over with. Yes, sir. Besides, they also have a lot of paddles and a variety of different ways to punish. Why does Daddy Dom include paddles as punishment? It is because Wayden was raised in a household that was extremely strict with its rules. When he was younger, he expressed a keen interest in the spanking part of parenting. Yikes. Number 2. A Thruple Our next story features a thruple. Bella, Dan, and Ken are the ones featured in the clip in this episode. Bella and Ken were married and monogamous before attending a party a few years ago. They have children and lived a normal life. I'm Bella. This is Ken, my husband, and this is 
Daniel, my boyfriend. And a cat. Don't forget the cat. Oh, no, I cat. do. For I forgot about the cat. Things changed when they attended an event and Bella met Dan, who was a magician. Interestingly enough, Dan was also married. He and his wife had an open marriage. Dan mentioned that he had rules in his head about how things will work. Relaying that for the open marriage to work, romantic feelings cannot develop on the side. Well, that went out the window upon meeting Bella. In the exclusive Extreme Love clip, Bella reveals that she flirted with Dan before kissing him at that party. She then went to tell her husband Ken what happened. The thruple describes how things work for them as well. Talked a couple times and we all had sex and we just kind of went from there. Dan believes people can have multiple soulmates in their lives. His relationship with Bella complicated the rules he set for himself in his open marriage. It wasn't just about hooking up, it was now about the feelings he developed for her. They both agreed that they fell in love rather quickly, prompting things to have shift and change. Three of us sleep in the same bed. We have a king she size bed. In the middle. She, sleeps in, <laughs> she sleeps on 70% of the bed. And it was just like, oh, well, Danny's going to live with us now, you know, and they're like, okay. There's a lot of times where a lot of times. Ken's going to have the girls. It's, it's just it's, not very common. It's, yeah, it is, it's an uncommon thing. Number one, Felicity Cadley Rossi and Zombie Doll Kelly. A 20-year-old woman claimed her world is now complete after she married her zombie doll. Felicity Cadleck from Massachusetts revealed she tied the knot with the love of her life, Kelly Rossi, a zombie doll that she claims is 37 years old on September 15, 2018. I chose a zombie doll because I love zombies. Her evil. This is just how I chose her. I like to go shopping with Kelly and buy outfits for her. Talking about Kelly, I'm speaking from my heart. Some people think it's a big joke and it's not to me. The ceremony, which took place in Tiverton, Rhode Island, cost Felicity $500 which covered her own wedding dress, a tuxedo for Kelly, and decorations for the outdoor venue. Felicity, who now lives in Venita, Oklahoma, claims that marrying Kelly has made her feel closer and more intimate with her. Felicity said, Our wedding ceremony was beautiful and perfect, exactly the way I dreamed it would have been. I made sure the whole wedding was done properly so it would be as official as possible, and we consummated the marriage afterwards. Felicity, who says that she has had boyfriends in the past, explained that Kelly takes on the male role in the pair's relationship. Felicity was initially gifted Kelly by her late father after becoming obsessed with horror movies and zombie dolls. When her father passed away, Felicity found herself becoming closer with the doll and finding comfort in it, as it was something her father had bought for her. She explained, I finally allowed myself to be open with who I was and let my feelings come out, and despite not everyone agreeing with my love life, I have never felt happier. Felicity said that once she has started to feel more confident in her relationship with the doll, she knew she had to take things one step further. Despite Kelly's zombie-like appearance, Felicity claims that she loves her doll deeply and wouldn't change it for the world. And not only does Felicity have feelings for the doll, the 20-year-old claims that Kelly loves her back. I'm not an evil person and I'm not possessed and I'm and she's not possessed. Sticking her hair in my ear because it makes me feel relaxed. Kelly was there with me through all of it and that's why our bond got stronger and... That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.